With, with so many things, like obviously we're going to talk a little bit about diet as well or nutrition, um, but there's obviously getting active and healthy, moving. There's also, you know, clearing and changing our mind and looking at things different in all sorts of different ways. Would you say if someone was actually able to flip from not taking responsibility to taking responsibility, is that the magic formula for all of that? I believe so. Yeah. You talk about it. Mm. Response. Ability, right, yeah, <laughs> which you have to see, but so to get from responsibility to response ability kind of almost implies that we have an awareness, don't we? That you have an awareness that ah, oh, I now know what to do with this situation. Does that make sense? It's to get to responsibility that, that's been a big thing for you, hasn't it? Well, you know that you manifest everything into your life, yeah, the good, the bad, the ugly, yeah, the fantastic. Um, and it's how much of the good you want and how much of the bad you can, you're willing to take yeah. before you want to make a change. Um, my goal is to manifest as much good into not only my world, but the world that I live in as, as, as quickly as possible. Mm. Um, so, so I'm cutting you off, but you, when you say, well, you know that you, you know that you manifest everything in your life. What about the person that doesn't know that? Is that the step? to first actually invite the, con the concept or the principle that perhaps I'm actually creating my world to be the way I am, the way it is. I'll go back to a, a, something my, my grade 10 maths teacher told me, and I was quite good at maths. Uh, I wasn't the best, but I, I, was, I was reasonably good with it. And I liked doing the subject. And uh, at the end of year 10, my maths teacher, Mr. Black at Mary Mac High, he said to me, Pete, you'll be successful at anything you put your mind to. And that was the first time in my life I'd been given praise. Wow. 16 years old. And planted the seed of possibility. Mm. And to this day, it's probably the most profound thing that anyone's ever said to me. I was going to say, because as you mentioned it, it touches you, doesn't it, to remember that? And I, I pray, not that I'm religious, but I pray that... He said that to each and every one of his students over the 20 or 30 years that he taught. Mm. With the same, he looked to me in the eye and said it, and I just, I think that, please let him have touched 10,000 children like he did me with those, that belief, or planting that belief. And, and I think about, if he can do it, could you imagine if all teachers did that? Could you imagine if every single parent on the planet did that for their child, yeah. whether it's on a daily basis or a weekly basis or a yearly basis? Do you think about Have someone believe in you and... Someone believe? Well, planting okay. the seed that mm. you should you believe in yourself. Because mm. he said, you'll be successful at whatever you put, you put your mind to. Mm. And it took me 16 years for someone to plant that. And I was like, okay, I get it. And then um, one thing led to another, to another, to another. And uh, that's a lot of the work that I do now is I get up on stage and talk to people about diet. But underneath all of that... I'm trying to plant the seeds of possibility and belief into people. That's, that's really what my whole tour is about. <laughs>